What's up, Barbie family? Welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Target Bullseye Playground Dollar Spot haul. And right now, they are getting in the fall and Halloween items. So when I went, they didn't have everything out, but they had a good amount of it out. I'm really excited for the fall collection when it comes to the Target Dollar Spot. My favorite items to get throughout the year are during fall and then when Christmas time comes around. But I think most of the time, not I think, like most of the time I prefer their fall items over all the other items that they get just because I think they do a really good job during the fall time. And then Christmas is a close second. Wondering about this, you guys. I don't even know anymore. I hurt my wrist like a couple of weeks before I gave birth and I thought I did something to the bone because I hit like a bone here and it feels like it. I ended up getting an x-ray done yesterday and it doesn't show that but I do still have carpal tunnel um, from my pregnancy. It actually left my right hand not my left hand and it is bad. It is worse than with pregnancy so I actually have to go to an orthopedic um, doctor because my regular uh, general practitioner, she says she could feel the um, swelling, she can feel the tenderness of it, but the x-ray showed nothing. So she said I have to go somewhere else to get uh, more of um, an idea of what's happening here. Okay, enough about that. If you're new to my channel, you're probably like, what the heck is this girl even talking about? I came here for a Target haul. Okay, let's start off with my favorite item I found at the Target dollar spot. It was these big, oh, pictures. Now, let me tell you something. Usually when you spend $5 at the Target Bullseye Playground for a picture, it is not this size. This is the biggest size I've ever seen them for $5. I got these pictures. So I got this one that says pumpkin patch. Now, when I say pictures, it's not like a printed sheet of paper. It's like faux wood or maybe it's real wood but I think it's more faux wood with like little pop outs so this pumpkin pops out a little bit so I got this one that says pumpkin patch I got this one that says hello autumn or welcome autumn look at that one this one I'm gonna try putting at the front porch but I'm gonna have to like secure it in place and then my favorite of them all is this one right here that says apple orchard it's kind of the same setup as the pumpkin one but this time around it has an apple and the reason I really like this is because last year with the Target Bullseye Playground stuff I got during fall, I did like an apple themed um, video with DIYs using the Target Dollar Spot um, items and it is my favorite Target Dollar Spot DIY video I've ever done. I really loved all the DIYs so I just want to put that up again in my house everything that I made with that like apple theme it is so cute. I've seen before like I see a lot on YouTube especially lately where people do DIYs and they reuse those DIYs in other videos and they do like my top 10 favorite Dollar Tree whatever. So my point here is I want to kind of do that I think with the um, items that I made the apple themed items I made last year just kind of re-uploaded this year with some other ones because it was adorable and i don't think that video got enough views to do the justice of it cooper's crying i'll be back even though you wouldn't even be able to tell that i left and i'm coming back next up i got this decorative pillow this was five dollars this is on the smaller side remember that this is more like an accent pillow versus like a throw pillow for your like, uh, couch or bed um did i say it was five dollars yeah i think i did anyway so one side says pumpkin patch and the other one says apple orchard it's the same designs that you just saw on those pictures like look it's the exact same thing so that's pretty cool especially if you're trying to decorate with a certain thing that you saw from these two items um most of my house is going to be like pumpkins but i throw the little ap apple accents here and there i'm starting to fall asleep again i'm always falling asleep now like i'm just 24 7 tired cooper's sleeping better though next up i got this flight paddle and i really like the coloring on this like the wood stain of it this was five dollars like th with these things normally people put cups you know, or glasses. Um, sometimes people put little like dishes in there. It, it, it just depends, but this one I got more so for decor. I'm gonna figure out something with this thing. Like I said, it was $5. They also had like cheese trays and things like that. Then I was excited about this one. This is $5. It is palette wood risers. I love wood risers or risers in general. Um, this comes with two different ones. So there is a bigger one and then a smaller one under it. And there was different colors of this one. I remember there being a gray one for sure. I decided to go with the darker color of the two, which is different for me because usually I go for gray. But I was so happy to see this. And it's cool that it's two of them versus just one because I feel like this would have been $5 normally on its own in the Target section because usually they, like, they've upped the price on a lot of things. So I was surprised to see that, that it was uh, two of them versus just one. I got some pumpkins to share with you guys. I love this one. This is this suede looking pumpkin with a twine going down through it. 
This one was how much? I think it was three dollars. Yeah, three dollars. I only saw one. I wanted more of these. Like this is really nice. And if you have boho looking decor, I feel like this would go well with it for like pumpkin. Thing, not pumpkin, but like fall decor. Uh, and you want pumpkins? I feel like that matches that vibe a lot. And then I got this one. It's a Sherpa decor pumpkin. And this one was three dollars as well. This is on the bigger side. And this was the only pumpkin I could find like this. Oh, I lied. There was like a gray one with a gold top. I passed on that one. They got their velvet pumpkins back in. I got a green, yellow, and orange one. Very pretty colors. There was also a burgundy color one. And they're just a dollar. They are so nice, these ones. This, again, I think would go well with, like, boho decor. Um, I just call it boho decor, but it could be called something else. But that's, I don't know. I'm not the best at knowing the name of every type of decorating style. I'm positive this is not going to be my only Target dollar spot haul for this set that they got because there's a lot of items that I want. They have some new tier trays in that I saw but not in person. I saw pictures of them on Instagram. I was able to get this white one. This one they had last year and I actually have it sitting in the front room. It's um, one of my decor pieces. This is $5. It's just a white wire basket. I saw they have one that's shaped like a house and then one that um, is like a wire basket. It's a new one and I'm going to keep my eyes open for them. The tear trays and like the wooden pictures that they get in at the Bullseye Playground are my favorite things to buy from there, especially when they get like new um, sets, new releases in. I, I look forward to if they're going to have tear trays and for sure they always have some type of form of like the wooden um, pictures. I got some more pumpkins to share with you guys, but this is a pack. It's called the Autumn Fill. It was $3. They had different ones, so it wasn't just like this green color one. There was like the orange kind. Um, this one has a squash inside of it. It's just different pumpkins and pine cones. You can throw this inside of like a filler bowl, um, use them inside of a tear tray. Completely up to you. With the fall release, they have some new Halloween items in. They always do that. It's a mixture of fall items, like pumpkins and stuff, and then the Halloween items. So I bought a few of them. I usually don't decorate for Halloween, but now that Cooper's around and we have our own house, um, I want to decorate for Halloween a little bit more, not go overboard. So I found this Hocus Pocus sign. Really, really like it. I love Hocus Pocus. It's actually Matt's favorite movie. So I ended up getting this. I did a Hocus Pocus like spell book DIY last year using Dollar Tree products. Really cheap, really easy to do. And I have the book and now I'm just going to put this beside the book. I think it's going to look cool. And then I got this welcome. Did I say how much it was? I don't remember. $3. Okay. <laughs> then I got this sign. I'm going to put this on the front of the door. Welcome to the Dead and Breakfast. Right? That's what it says, breakfast. The service here is to die for. I like the way that this looks. And then if you don't really like what it says on there, you can always paint over this and then put whatever you want on top of it. Especially if you have a Cricut. I think it will come out really, really nice. And I like that the chain on it is a gold color because it like makes the black really pop out. And then what else did I get? Oh, my last item to share with you guys. I got these two little spell bottles. Is that what they are? Oh, oh, my wrist. Feather of the Raven, finest quality. And then this one says, used with great caution, bone powder finely ground. Um, these were the only two that I saw. Then again, I only saw three of them lying out there and two of them were this. Both of these were a dollar. It's a glass potion bottle. You know what I like to stick inside of these things? Dish soap. Like, I know you can take water and you can put some food coloring inside of it, but the dish soap, is thicker and it gives it a cooler look so you can go to Dollar Tree and get different color dish soap and just place them inside of there. So that's it for this Target Bullseye Playground Dollar Spot Haul. I always say those two things because some people call it Bullseye Playground and that's the actual term for it and then most people um, on the internet or at least on YouTube call it the Dollar Spot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I keep saying it. I do have a DIY hopefully coming out shortly. It's just it takes time. For me especially right now it's like you film a DIY part of it one day the next day part of it the next day part of it it takes like kind of a while to do so hopefully soon I will have one out I really want to do a bunch of fall DIYs but I don't know if I'm gonna get to it fingers crossed anyways thank you so much for watching I hope you guys are all doing well I am I actually am I'm just always tired anyways I will see you guys next time <laughs> take care bye